Hello my lovely Sophia here, welcome back to my channel Sophia Psychic Tarot. So today's daily guidance from the Angels and Spirit is for the 22nd of April 2021. So we have resistance, so there may be something you're holding on to that you are um, not wanting to let go. So I will come back to that because that fits in with when I'm doing my mentoring as well. So. Let me just carry on a moment. Yeah, something that you have a deep-rooted belief about or an assumption or an opinion about. So you may be sort of tying yourself, this girl is handcuffed to this devil, okay? So let me just pull in one of these. Um, it's time to take action. So... For example, when I'm doing my mentoring and helping people to shift their energies and mindset from the old story to the new story of what they do want, instead of focusing on what they don't want, because what you focus on grows. Okay, so when people are, especially when they're wanting an, a specific person, they are reluctant to let go of either the old story so they are affirming for what they want like um bob loves me you know i'm all he thinks about he's head over heels in love with me i'm all he thinks about all day long he's my man um he's always pursuing me i'm his true heart's desire and this that and the other okay but then they are going over the old story still so they're doing their affirming what they do want instead of affirming what they don't want but then when they are driving their cars in the shower peeling potatoes doing mundane tasks where you're not focusing on something and concentrating on something so you are on autopilot letting monkey mind chunter away telling you all sorts of things negative nancy okay it is going over the old story now, whether it is the old story about your thoughts, beliefs and assumptions about yourself, your thoughts, beliefs and assumptions about your SP or money or your job or family members or whatever, OK, or about men in general, women in general, relationships in general, your relationship with that person in general or previous relationships. So when you are holding on tightly... How can the universe come in and help you? Because you're reluctant to let go of your fears and doubts. It doesn't mean that you let go of your desire to have whatever it is you want. It means that you are not letting go of trying to control, well, how's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? You're not letting go of your old beliefs and assumptions and thought patterns so you are creating resistance. It's like when you plant a seed, if you put a plant pot or something on top of it, then that seed is not going to grow up because it's going to hit the bottom of the plant pot and it won't go any further. It, you're, it's, you know, pushing against something that is causing resistance. So there is something in your belief system, either from childhood or through early adulthood or even now that you are holding on to that is not serving you and it's stopping you from getting what you want so it's time to take action spirit is saying so the person you're asking about is trustworthy some of you might be thinking i can't trust this person if you are thinking that then you are not ever going to trust that person because that is your thought pattern. Uh, done those. Been there, done that one. Um, right. I also do a new service where if you are not a mentoring client of mine and you are have been trying to shift your energies and you are struggling, you don't feel anything's happening, and you've been doing it for, you know, over sort of two or three months, then 
you can book me for an hour long Skype or FaceTime session, which will help you where I can see where your resistance and doubts and old thought patterns and old story still is. So contemplation time. It's time to spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to sit there cross-legged, focusing still for 10, 15, 20 minutes or whatever, okay? It means focus on your wish fulfilled. What is the outcome that you want in your situation? Focus on the end of your movie as if it's done. No, they want one of these, okay. Self-sabotage, exactly, okay? That's what you're doing when you're holding on to resistance because you are trying to come up with a solution. You are trying to micromanage the middle. When you want something, when you realise that you can consciously create what you want instead of going through your life unconsciously creating your 3D reality anyway, which you've always been doing and you always will continue to do, when you consciously become aware of your thoughts that are stopping you having what you want and you are shifting them to positives, you have to be in the wish fulfilled. It's a done deal. So any doubts or fears or insecurities or old story that comes up in the meantime, you either say, this is not the end of my movie that's the end of my movie. I know what the end of my movie is and this is not it. And you continue to push through that to the end of your movie. Or you can, you know, look at it as, right, me and my SP are together. I'm in my perfect job. I have lots of money. Whatever it is, okay. You have to feel as if you are, or it's already a done deal. You don't have to be happy and excited feeling it's a feeling a knowing that it's a done deal so when any doubts or anything comes up in the meantime they're not there to hurt you they are there to remind you that that is still resistance that is stopping you being a match for what you want so self-sabotage when you learn to get out of your own way there will be no stopping you most of the time it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals it's that inner voice that derails those um, carefully woven plans that inner voice that negative nancy that is saying no your person doesn't love you no you're not good enough for that job you've never got any money your family and friends hate you whatever it is you're not very good looking you're overweight whatever negative nancy is trying to say you shut the door in her face you do not invite her in for a cup of tea and a slice of cake and a chin wag. You slam the door on her and you affirm for what you do want. I have got the perfect job. I am, you know, highly respected and valued. I, you know, my person loves me. They're my man, they're my woman, whatever it is that you want. I've got lots of money. Money is always in my bank account and so on. So what you are focusing on is what you are reaffirming so if you keep focusing on the old story you are reaffirming that and that is what is going to continue to show up if you are focusing on what you want as if you already have it you've placed your order it's en route any doubts that pop up in the meantime you slam the door in its face you weed those weeds or whatever okay but don't self-sabotage. So there's something for some of you that you are resisting because you don't want to let go. Let go, like I said, is letting go of the doubts, the fears and the drama behind it. Thinking that you can't have it. Not meaning let go and forget about what you want. There's a difference. I will leave this with you. Love and light.